my friend John Rich, award-winning songwriter, owner of the multifaceted Redneck Riviera brand, as well as TV host for his show, The Pursuit. John, great to talk to you. Hey, Ben. Good to see you again, brother. So you've got a brand new song out. It's called Progress. All, la- all of your three last singles have reached number one in the Billboard sales chart across all genres, and that is despite the fact that you have no radio support and no record label support. So first of all, let's talk about this song, Progress. So I- I've listened to the song. I've seen the song. It's it's really it's funny. It's poignant. It, it says a lot of stuff. So what-, what drove you here? You know, I think we're all watching our country be systematically dismantled in front of our eyes, and it's being dismantled by people who say they are progressive and that they're progressives. And this is a progressive agenda that they're chasing down. But meanwhile, the only thing I see and everybody else sees in this country is regression and destruction and all these terrible things. It's the opposite of progress. So as I was just thinking about how how ironic, how sadly ironic that is, the songwriter in me kicked in a little bit. And I go, there's got to be a way to put that into a song, you know, people are so frustrated right now, Ben, that it's, it's almost like they, they're apoplectic. They have so many words they want to say all at the same time, and they just stutter and stammer because there's so many bad things going on. I wanted to see if I could distill it down, simplify it into a, a country song, into a simple lyric, and get it out there. So this song was born uh, just a few months ago, and I recorded it, and I said, you know what, I'm going to put it out in the summer because I bet you this summer it's just going to be wall-to-wall crazy stuff going on. And sure enough, it is. And so I think it's the perfect time for this song to come out. And one of the things about this, uh, the, the music video for the song, I mean, you do not pull any punches. I mean, it is just a litany of all the things that the progressives have wrecked about America from the BLM riots to forcible masking. Now, you, know, you are you know, maybe one of the only brave voices out there in the music industry right now. now. There are a lot of conservatives. I've talked to many people in the country music industry, a lot of singers who, who whose names people would know, who just won't say publicly what they think on these issues because they're afraid of the blowback. And you, you can see why that's justified. I mean, you've seen singers like Morgan Wallen be, be completely removed from radio for periods of time until he was too valuable for them to, for, to do that permanently. You've seen that sort of stuff happen routinely. And so if you're a country music star, the easiest thing to do, it's like being a Hollywood star. The easiest thing to do is just go along and get along, at least don't offend anybody. So why, what, what made you choose to just say, you know, screw it, I'm going to say exactly what I want to say here. Well, I think about our founding fathers, Ben, and what they had to risk to build our country. You know, the men that signed the Declaration of Independence, if the Brits had have ever found those men or their families, they were going to hang them from trees. They were going to burn their houses and kill their families and erase them from the history of the earth. But they signed it anyway, because they thought freedom was more important. Liberty or death, I believe is how they put it. That was not a bumper sticker or a hashtag, Ben. That's the attitude it took to build our country. So now we're in 2022 and it seems like um, people are willing to give up their, uh, their integrity and their freedom of speech uh, because they're afraid somebody's going to kick them off of Twitter or Facebook, or somebody's going to call them a bad name in the industry that they work in. And so that's enough of a, of a scar or a black eye for them to relinquish their true spirit and their true soul about what they actually think. So for me, I've got two kids. I got two sons, 10 and 12, growing up. And I didn't want to be the dad that yells at the TV at home and then goes out in the world and plays patty cake with this nonsense. You know, be the same guy all the time. I didn't want them seeing dad being a hypocrite. And uh, I just decided my freedom of speech was more important to me than, than the uh, approval of the music industry. So yeah, like you said earlier, I don't get any support. From the music industry, there's a few radio stations that might play this song, but most of them are answering to the conglomerates. You know, they're answering to the guys way up the food chain. And those those folks generally don't think like I think. So what's been interesting is while I while I lost all that support from the industry, what I've picked up on the other side with audiences like yours is their loyalty to what I'm doing, because I'm going out and taking it on head on and I'm taking my licks and taking my beating like everybody else. But if I put out good music and they resonate with it, they're buying the songs. And the last three, like you said, all three with virtually no support from the industry, all topped the Billboard number one sales charts in all genres, not just country. We're speaking with John Rich. His new song is called Progress, and it is definitely worth the listen. So, John, I I think that one of the things that you've done here is you've shown the way for a lot of other artists. Have you seen other artists who are sort of picking up on this and realizing there are alternative methods of distribution where you don't have to toil in the hinterlands and and essentially put your ideology in the backseat, 
for the sake of record labels that hate your values, that are being you know, essentially run from places that have no relationship with the country music audience. They're being run in New York and L.A., places where nobody's ever seen anybody who's, who's listened to country music. I'm so empathetic to artists uh, who are conservatives, who are patriots, who don't know what to do, because I'm in a different position than a lot of them. I've been around a long time. I've, I've worked very hard. I've saved my allowance money, you know, so I don't necessarily need the industry to fund me anymore. But a lot of these artists, they're just getting started. Or they just had their first hit or two hits. They've got bands. They're trying to build a career. And they know that if they came out swinging like I do, very good chance they're going to they're gonna be stopped dead in their tracks. So I can't really expect them to do that. But I have had a lot of artists hit me up and say, hey, man, uh, keep saying what you're saying. Just know we're all behind you. It's, it's kind of those kind of conversations. There's a few. I saw Jason Aldean. You know, he, he texted me one night and he said, hey, do you see these uh, people online attacking my wife? They're calling my wife all these terrible names because she had on a Trump hat or something like that in an Instagram post. I said, yeah, I see that. He goes, what do you think I ought to do about it? I said, well, what would you do to anybody else that was attacking your wife? He <laughs> goes, good point. He goes, what? Well, you know, I might, I might get in trouble. I said, Jason, who cares? They're coming after your wife, man. Just say it like you feel it. And guess what? He did. He did say it. And uh, he's just fine. Matter of fact, people probably like him even more now that he stepped out there. So it takes a lot to do that. I, I always tell artists, it ain't for everybody to do that. But fortunately, God's blessed me for many, many, many years and put me in a position where I can afford to not have their support anymore. Well, that's John Rich. Go check out his new song, Progress, right now. Obviously, check out everything Redneck Riviera has to, has to do and check out his show, The Pursuit. John, it's great to talk to you as always. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate you. We're in a battle for the culture and for our values. Like and subscribe to help keep our videos on the front line of the fight and top of your feed.